I guess I'm back. I don't know if you saw that notification right there before it went away. I just got- Oh, there he is right there! Red Beard the, uh, pirate! We have a pirate over here now! But I just got some materials to build the, uh, the ocean fishing area. What in blazes are you talking about? Moby Dick is mine. Shop. Cannon. Cannonball. Pirate hat. Pirate shirt. These are all vanity. Sail. Uh, I don't know... What's this? He probably likes the ocean, honestly. You want to make Daniel the guide walk the plank. Sea dog. Hate the codlin and dastardly smell. <laughs> but yeah, I, I guess we'll make a, uh... Maybe we'll make, like, an, a hotel or whatever over... Since I'm going to be making a fishing thing anyways, and Simon's probably going to love it anyways, and especially the, uh, the, the, the pirate guy. Maybe I'll make a, uh, a building over here, put Simon and the pirate guy over there, and hopefully we'll get ourselves a pylon over there. I don't know, I'm like, if we get a... If I'm going to have a pylon, I definitely want it to be on this side of the map. Uh, I guess I'll do it on that side then. Yeah, let's do it on that side. I'll have to travel a little bit more, but hey, I've already got some walls in my inventory. i got some wood right there. Uh, I don't have a chest. I guess I'll grab one real quick just so we can keep uh, any bait inside of it. Uh, let's see. Just grab another gold chest. There you go. Boom. Just because I've got so many gold chests. So there you go. I guess I'll, I'll, I'll let another a day pass real quick. By the way, I don't think I got anything crazy off camera just a moment ago. Uh, yeah, just a bunch of bass, so nothing crazy there, of course. I think it's already gone up inside of storage, so that's good, but... I guess I'll let another day, uh... Can I do... Oh, wait, can you, uh... How often can you do this, though? Ever wanted to enchant a ring that turns rocks into slimes? Well, neither did I. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> but I guess I can't use that sun. You could probably only use it, like, once every now and then or something like that, right? But I guess we'll get on the, uh, unicorn, which can double jump, which is great. As well as, like, like kill enemies and stuff whenever it's in sprinting mode with, like, sparkles coming out of it, you guys said. So that's good. Uh, we already saw that with a black studded horse or whatever it was called. It was able to already run over enemies and do damage and, and stuff like that. But I'm curious to see how much damage the unicorn will do. I don't know if, uh, yeah, he's not able to go through this. So let's just go through the mountain like this. And I guess I'll just go to this side and build it. Because we already have a fishing hole in the, uh, I don't know if it's in the hollow now, actually. But we had one in the uh, Arctic area. I don't know where it is on this map right here, though. I think it was, uh... Where is it? Is that it? Yeah, there it is right there. Yeah, we have one, like, right here. I guess it's not in the hollow? Because this is still crimson here. Here's hollow. Hmm. Alright, well, that's good that we still have that one there. Uh, maybe I'll go fishing over there a little bit as well, just because I haven't gone fishing in the Arctic in a while either, so... Maybe I'll do that, but for right now, let me just head on over to, I guess, the beach. We can make an area for Simon. And Redbeard, his name was, which I wonder if it's I wonder if oh man, whoops. Uh I wonder if they're always gonna have like X beard names, you know? Like maybe maybe uh if if he dies, we'll get another one called like White Beard or something like that, and another one called like Black Beard or Green Beard or something like that. That'd be pretty funny. But for right now, oh uh did I say a meteor? Possibly crash somewhere here. Uh where was that? I don't know, but we're getting attacked by a bunch of enemies. We we only have one uh one imp right now, so I, I don't want to. I don't want to stay here too much longer because only one imp. I don't think that'll be able to kill too much, right? Just use our amazing new mount, the unicorn, to try and get to the other side, uh, other side of the map as fast as possible. Simon the angler. Hey, what in the world? What are the odds? What? Wait, does Simon always have? Like, it, it, does his pool of names is just Simon, or like, did we just get like crazy luck right there that Simon had the exact same name that he had before he died? I don't know. I've never had that happen before where, you know, an NPC has one name and then dies and has the same name whenever they respawn. <laughs> but hey, at least we have Simon back, so we don't have to wait for him to respawn whenever we, uh, hopefully build this base over here. I should probably, uh, cut down a few trees, too. Because I only got enough materials to... And then Grover the Tax Collector has arrived, so that's good. So hopefully, uh, we'll start collecting some taxes, get some money from him by the time we get back home, so that'll be good. But yeah, I'm going to need a lot more wood if I'm going to be building their own little, like, hotel or apartment or whatever over there. If you're going to need a little bit more wood, so there you go, grab some of that, boom. And, uh, plant down some of the acorns just to get the trees back over here. Boom, there you go, nice. And yeah, let me just pause the recording, do all that stuff real quick. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. If anything else interesting happens, or if I finish building their base and, and start moving them over there, or if I catch something really interesting while fishing, or anything like that, I'll be sure to let you guys know. So, go to pause the recording again, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. I right, guess back and some great news right now. I just talked. Uh, oh, by the way, this is the new base over here. We're, we're on the right side, basically next to the uh, to the ocean over here on the right side. I built a. Uh, a th well, I'll show you guys that in person here. Just oh god, what's happening? It's killing us. Oh god, it's a wandering eye inside of our house. <laughs> but I built like an apartment or uh, whatever you want to call it over here with Red Beard and Simon over here, and he's given us a trade for 
the ocean pylon. So let's let's do it, you guys. Let's buy it. Lightning welt shell. Uh, I guess I get rid of the palm wood uh, wall thing because I don't need that anymore. Parrot cracker. <laughs> Someone's a pet parrot. That's pretty fun. You know what? What type of pet do we have right now? We have a pet dragon, don't we? Maybe we can kind of mix it. Oh, that's two platinum though. Golly. That was like a lot cheaper. I'd probably consider that honestly. But let's get the ocean platform for seven gold, 50 silver or whatever that was right there. Well, let's place it down uh, like right here. Let's, let's try and flatten this out. Where's the sand at? Oh, did it go into uh, I think it went to the void uh, whatever right there. So that sucks. Place down some torches here. Just kind of light it up. Anyway, I'll probably get rid of this hill in the future, but if I want to place it down and then of course we'll actually have a teleport over here to the right side finally, right? So here we go. Ocean platform. Boom. So now we can go anywhere we want because we have two NPCs over here. So now the uh, the pylon works. So that's great. Let's go talk to Simon. I don't think I caught anything crazy during this. Uh, let's see. Quest. Bloody mana war. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what that is. I, I, I don't have that, unfortunately, but I did get a mithril. Uh, Crate, so that's good. We also got seven pearlwood crate. I think the mithril one went mithril one went inside the uh, the void uh, vault. You know, kill that dolphin just because why not? <laughs> but I placed uh, so here it is right here. Here's our fishing hut that I've been fishing at just a moment ago, and uh, I have this little little strip down here for like mummies and other critters to go down to, and of course get killed by our imp, and of course when they die, and then you know we'll, we'll get some money and whatever else that they're dropping, and they'll be on that uh, that platform right there, which is good, nice. Anyways. Nothing inside of this chest right now, because we don't. I, I guess we put some enchanted night crawlers and some other uh, bait inside there just right now. I'll be catching a bunch of tuna and uh, red snapper and like shrimp. I don't know where the shrimp is uh, on this. I think it might have gone inside the void uh, vault because I'm not seeing it. Grapefruit, ooh, and of course bomb fish. We have some of those as well. I guess we'll teleport home. Boom. Go inside the void vault. Oh, and by the way, we have a. Uh, Jane, the zoologist now, so that's good. So now we have our zoologist left. Who are we missing still, though? Like, surely we're still missing a couple, right? Uh, that actually looks kind of full. I thought there's someone. Oh, I guess if it, yeah, Simon was on one of these. I don't know if there's anyone else that was on either of these because I, I know Simon was on one of them. He's over there now, which is good. I guess I'll go to the void vault and see if there's any. You know what? Let's do this. Empty out our inventory. Oh, wow. That emptied out a lot right there. Nice. Let's put up the wood. The platforms. You definitely want to keep that. Oh, there's a uh, or trout right there. Yeah, I picked up some trout, too. So there you go. That's good. Uh, put that over here in the animals. Boom. And uh, ice slime banner. Let's go. put. Oh, I forgot to put the uh, purple emperor butterfly up. I guess I'll keep that for right now, though. Not that big of a deal. Go to the structures, put the uh, that in there. Let's go to grapefruit or uh, go to animals, put the grapefruit over there. I've been basically putting food in the animals chest. So, you know, there's that. I think uh, I dropped my ham axe. Or, yeah, here it is right here. Keen molten. Ham. I dropped it and it went inside the void vault. So there it is right there. There's the mithril crate I was talking about. Let's loot all that. What is all that again? I got two pirate maps consumables. Uh, some is a pirate invasion. <laughs> no, I am not doing that. But uh, hey. We're putting that over here in the summons, the new summons chest. So that's perfect right there. You guys. Nice. Let's see if we could, uh, trip po boy. Hey, man, po boys are delicious. I don't know if you guys have ever had a po boy, but they're pretty delicious. <laughs> Anyways, mithril crate right there. And then a reaver shark, 19 melee damage. What? This is a melee weapon. What? Oh my God. I'm literally <laughs> 19 melee damage, fast speed. So yeah, this is very fast speed right here. So yeah, this, this sharp cutlass right there. That's still, that's still good. 50, what? 59% pick, it's a pickaxe too? So it's a pickaxe and a, s no, it's, it's just a pickaxe that does 19 melee damage. That's actually kind of like crazy. 180% uh, with the adamantite pickaxe though, so. I don't know what to, <laughs> to say about that, honestly. Is it a, it's not a material, so I guess I can sell it and not really feel guilty. We got uh, mummy pants right there, so that's good. So yeah, we, we could definitely sell that thing and not have to be like, oh man, could have used that to craft something. Mechanical Worm uh, summons the Destroyer. Ooh, we got that. So now we can summon in uh, Skeletron. Oh, that's the wrong thing. That's that's the old chest. Now we can summon in Skeletron and the Destroyer. Swordfish, 22 melee damage, very fast speed. So similar to this one, but I guess this is a pickaxe fish or shark. And this is a uh, sword, you know, melee weapon fish. Oh, whoa, it, like, it does a stabbing thing. We have a weapon that does a stabbing sort of thing. Like, look at the squirrel. <laughs> 24 damage right there is dead. Yeah, we do have a... Uh, Oh, I think I still have it. I don't think I sold it, did I? Yeah, this thing right here, dark lance. It's a lance, but it's a fish lance. Yeah, see, look at this. It does the same thing. This is like really long. What is this again? Zealous? Uh, oh, I thought it was like massive. I, think it, I guess it's just a normal size of this thing. Jeez. Is there any other crazy stuff about it, though? Lord of Man. Uh, yeah, it's just the same. It's just a regular 
It's just a stabby type melee weapon. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Let's put that up back over there. Uh, I guess this would go over... Yeah, there you go. And then I guess this Reaver Shark would go in tools. So there's that. Purple mucus used to make purple. Okay, if it's, it's for tur or if it's for purple, I die. Let's put it up over there in the dyes and uh, paint chest. Yeah, there's a shrimp for a Let's go talk to uh, whatever his name is now. Daniel, really good, easily pronounceable name. Let's go see what he says about that. So I can make cooked shrimp. Okay, medium uh, improvements to all stats instead of uh, minor improvement with the cooked fish. So that's good. Barbecue it and broil it, uh, but okay, let's go put shrimp on the barbie and let's go heck and cook this stuff up, you guys. So there's the cooking pot right there, so we're next to it. And, uh, oh, there it is right there, there's the cooked shrimp, perfect. Nice. I guess you can't do it with the, with the trout then, huh? Or the two, well, I guess not the tuna or the trout or whatever. What, what do you do with tuna? It's probably something stupid. Sashimi in the workbench? Just the workbench? Really? That's kind of weird. I guess I can make it right now, boom. There you go, yeah, we have, uh, what about red snapper? Another material. Talk to Dan, Daniel about it, uh... In the workbench again, we can make more sash Okay, sashimi out of tuna, and red snapper. Boom! Anyways, we have a lot of food over here now, which is good, so I'm just gonna put that up in- I, I should probably turn one of these into, like, a food chest, actually. Like, we have the po boy, 18 minute duration, 8 minute duration of medium improvements, boom. And we have a cooked shrimp or whatever right there, and we have a extra tuna we could put over here, or, uh... Just cooked fish, it's not like a, a special type of fish. And then there's trout right there, uh... And then there's coffee, daggerfish, ranged it. Wait, what? I guess I guess because it said it was a fish, I thought it was a, is that an ammo? No, it's just, I guess I'll put that in the weapons. <laughs> I don't know if I'll use it though, but it's 18 damage. So hey, cream soda. Yeah, let's go put that up. Uh, yeah, more cooked fish right there. But you're, I could probably cook that frost minnow and try and get in frogs and pretty much anything that has a material. And then bojack and bass right there. Sheesh. And then, yeah, I got a random piece of bacon, I think, off camera. Uh, Atlantic cod, trout. I can probably cook like all these, except for the bird, of course. And then the amethyst squirrel. Yeah, we, we need to make like a terrarium, right? I think we need to make a terrarium. Uh, let's go to the cooking pot. Probably able to do it here, right? Yep, here we go, here we go. Cooked fish. Boom. That's going to be all the. There we go. There's the. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot it. Stacks up to 30. Boom. Another 30 right there. Now we're going to start filling up that new food chest that we have right there, you guys. So that's good. Now, what's that thing under this? Oh, it's the same thing, but it uses trout. Okay, let's do that there. Yeah, we have 17 of that, so that's good. Let's start getting some more cooked fish, because we still have like 80 or something like that right there. <laughs> so we have to do this two more times. Jeez, yeah, we're going to start filling up that chest quick, 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 you guys. Man, there you go. Boom. Look at all that cooked fish we're getting. I'm like, it's only for minor improvements. Uh, let's actually rename it before we forget about it. Uh, food. I'm like, it being a gold chest. Can we, can we dye gold chests? I don't know. I guess we'll see here in just a moment. Because we do have dye like pretty close by, so I guess we'll uh, myth bust that here in just a moment. But, uh... Let's see, where's that at? Dyes and paints. I need to get like the paintbrush, the paint roller or whatever. Use the paint with color blo or color blocks. Red paint. So if I wanted to have, what 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 color symbolizes food? Maybe I do red, because I have it like right there. So I guess I guess we'll get the paintbrush out. Try and uh, okay. So you could you could still dye uh or paint gold. It just it still has a sparkle, which is really cool. And it gl I think it gives off its own light. I don't know. It might be because there's torches really close to it there. I think it gives off its own light, so that's good. Summoning items, quest items. I don't know how to uh, color code that, honestly. Teal, do we have teal anywhere? Do we have black? Oh yeah, we do have black. I, I guess we could do black. Uh, Bohemus, the traveling merchant. Okay, well, I guess I guess the summoning items could be black. Oh, whoa. Yeah, just because, you know, black is like death and, and doom and stuff like that. So if we summon any of that stuff, we might die, right? So I guess that makes sense right there. Summoning items, food. Quest items. I guess we can keep that as gold. Uh, then, of course, we still have three empty chests right there that aren't even assigned to anything, so that's good. Uh, we have a lot of extra room right there to expand and stuff like that, you know, so that's awesome. And the bug nets. And I guess we'll open up these chests now. So let's see what's inside of the mithril crate. Let's open that bad boy up. Ginger beer. <laughs> and uh, palato. Wait, whoa, wait, what? Master. Uh, this is bait of the master variety. Don't, don't demonetize my YouTube. Jeez. I know what you're thinking. But we got some palladium. Or, now, what, what is that again? Is that the alternative to adamantite? Or was that uh, the alternative to mithril? I forget. On the uh, like like hierarchy or whatever you would put it. Oh, it's it's cobalt. Okay, so what's the alternative to cobalt? Man, I kind of got excited there, to be quite honest. I thought we had to actually had something good right there. And we could, you know, oh yeah, you can't interchange. Even if this was on par with the mithril, yeah, you can't like combine them both together and you know, make an armor out of it. You could only make either or, so that sucks. I guess we'll put it up in this chest over here, the metals, and yeah, this is actually getting pretty full. Oh, and by the way, off camera, I got a geode? 
may drop valuable sh so let, let, let's use that. I don't- I, I didn't mention it yet, but there you go, yeah, we got a geode. I don't know what I got it from, or where, or whatever. Oh yeah, we got a ginger beard, I guess we could wear that. Where do we put that? Uh... Anywhere? Just there? Wait, oh, I, I can't even see- where does that go? Vanity item. Yeah, I don't know where, uh, specifically it would go on this. Oh. Yeah, I don't see it. Yeah, nothing's happening there. I don't, I don't know what to do with that, so I guess I'll just keep that in there, so there you go. And there's the geode, so right click, or, or what? How do I do this? Uh, consumable major. Okay, let's do this then. Let's go. Let's go out here just in case anything crazy happens. Uh. Oh, you just throw it. Oh, a diamond and uh, topaz. Six diamonds, five to. Hey, can't complain about that. That's a pretty good amount of uh materials right there. Not bad. Nice. And diamonds. Hey, even though this is Terraria, I guess. I guess. Di oh, whoa, whoa. Spark. <laughs> Sparkle the party girl. Hey, that's a pretty good fitting name. Who do we have beforehand? Fantasy or someone? So hey, Sparkle. That's a pretty good fitting name. Where's the, uh, traveling guy at? Is he over here? He is. Okay, let's, let's go to the jungle. Go talk to Behemoth, because remember, we can get a, uh, zebra skin, DPS meter. We already have that yellow team, gypsy robe. I don't... What was it? Uh, some sort of fishing... I, I think I have the... Uh, hold on. I think I still have the... Yeah, I still have it pulled up. Where is it on here? Yeah, the sitting ducks fishing pole is sold randomly by the traveling merchant for 35 gold. So yeah, we, we have to keep our eyes peeled whenever traveling merchant comes by and see if any of them are going to sell the sitting duck like pole or uh what was it called again uh sitting ducks fishing pole so definitely want to get that i wonder if is that is that able to be like because the name kind of implies oh sitting duck you could just maybe just uh you know put it inside of like a holster or whatever and just let it let it go until you get a get a nibble oh and look, look, look at this you guys look, look at our map jungle desert there's our uh, main forest right there and we have a little bit of we have a cavern pylon right there I don't think you can have multiple jungle pylons, though. I think you'd have only one of each biome, if I remember correctly, from when we read about it, so... I don't think we'd have a jungle underground, uh... I, I guess we could have a... Oh, yeah, we already have a desert there. I don't think you'd have a crimson biome teleport. I doubt you can. Like, crimson and... Oh, maybe you can, because ha some NPCs like Hallow. So I wonder if any NPCs like crimson. I doubt it, though, because remember, whenever crimson went to the jungle, our NPCs ran out. Huh. And it's still there, too, by the way. <laughs> Uh, I doubt it, but like, I guess they like the hallow, because, you know, the wizard likes the hallow. The nurse likes the hallow. Someone else likes that, I forget who. But at least two people we ha we currently have like the hallow, so that's good. We, we can move them over here, maybe underground or something like that. So, you know, at least we'll have a little bit of a, maybe, maybe even like over here, so we'll be able to do boss battles really easily or something like that. I don't know. Uh, or even, even in an underground, it may be like down here. Uh, it's too close to this cavern pylon, though. I don't know. I don't know where I'd put it, honestly. I'm definitely not going to put it on the surface. It's really, like, like really close to our forest, so... Definitely don't want to put that there. Maybe I'll put it, like, over here or something crazy. I have to see. I have to, I have to think about it. But hey, look at this. We have an ocean pond all the way over here. Let's see what Simon wants today, though. Let's see. He wants a uh, mutant flix fin caught in the underground tundra. Yeah, we already have a... Oh, what in the world? Oh, that's a... Oh, I thought that was like a flying fish. I'm like, a flying fish isn't necessarily uncommon here, you know, right? <laughs> we also have a red beard here. I don't know if he has any specialty items whenever he, uh... Like, during the night, like, during certain situations or anything like that, right? Cannon can... Whoa! 300 dead. What? So I guess you have to have a cannon and then... You use the cannon with the cannonball and it does 300 damage. You know what? This might... Yeah, for use with cannon. This might be a pretty good defensive sort of thing. We have two pirate maps or whatever they're called, treasure maps or whatever they're called, to summon in more pirate invasions. If we get some cannons and a bunch of cannon balls, put them at the top of our house, or even just beside our house or whatever, it may be pretty, because our house is relatively level on left and right, especially the left side, because we cleared that out for the Eternia Crystal, right? Sail, pirate pants, these are all uh, vanity items. I guess we can get these just for, because uh, we don't have any vanity right now. Uh, Three gold, three gold, so, uh, and he's, he's, he's at the best, uh, what do you call it right now? What does he have to say about his happiness? Tis like having me very own galleon, matey. Hardy har har, matey. The ocean is me true home at hoy. Yeah, I didn't have to look it up in the piece here. I just kind of assumed it, because he's a pirate, right? Uh, me takes Simon the Angler under me wing, land lover. Me love raisin sea pups. This is perfect. Nice. All right, so I assume he's, he's fine with Simon. He, he gave us the ocean biome, uh, pylon already, so that's good. We don't have to worry about putting anyone else over here, so that's awesome. I I I guess we can look it up in the beast here just to kind of read about him, right? Where is he on here? 
the there he is right there. Oh, he's just a pirate. Okay. Ahoy, the only good pirate captain is one that sells cannons and weapons to take out all competing pirate captains. See this? The, the, the cannon, the cannonballs, they seem really effective against the pirate thing, so why don't we buy some and use them for the pirate invasion thing? Maybe, maybe manually, like, summon the pirate? I don't know what summoned it in the first place, to be quite honest. <laughs> but maybe use it to uh, summon another pirate invasion and be a little bit more prepared this time around, huh? You know what, maybe I'll save that for later. I'm like, right now, yeah, we have the cutlass. I said earlier, yeah, we need a better weapon. We have the cutlass now, which is good, but, like, it's, it's, it's very short-range melee, so... I don't know if I want to use that. And then there's Ang or, uh, Simon Lee Angler. He's also an ocean. Who else was, uh, Hallow? Yeah, the wizard is Hallow. Underground. Mechanic is snow. Jungle. Goblin Tinker is underground. Tavern Keep is. Oh, Tavern Keep was also the Hollow. What? That doesn't make sense to me, honestly. Why would a Tavern Keep like the Hallow? So all just is fine on the surface. What is this? The Jungle. Okay, he just shows his weapon for some reason there. What is that? Oh, this is. Yeah, this is weapon too. Yeah, the. Oh, yeah, didn't we get that? The classic cane? I think he, I think he dropped that when he died. 12.5% chance. <laughs> Snow biome there. Uh, oh, yeah, the, the party girl. Yeah, she's another one that likes the hallow. So we can put the wizard. We can put the, uh, yeah, the nurse. We can put the uh, party girl all in the hallow. Hopefully get a, uh, a, a totem over there, a, a pylon. Teleport over there. I just need to decide. And, of course, you guys, like I said earlier, we could put, we could make an artificial hallow, like, right here if we wanted, you know? Like, right next to the dungeon. It'd be kind of somewhat close to the ocean biome one. But, hey, at least it's closer to heckin' dungeon. We'll be able to go over there and... Hopefully fully explore the dungeon. <laughs> like, remember, there's still, like, an area over here, apparently, we have yet to discover. So, yeah, there's there's a lot over there, you guys. It's crazy. I don't know if, uh, I'm like, we, it's been a little while. We have better weapons. We have better armor now. Hey, maybe it's going to be even easier now. All we need to do now is just kind of wait for, you guys said, to kill all three of the mechanical bosses, the twins, the, the, we have the spawn in, yeah. We have the summoning items for two of them, actually. We need to get... We need to figure out how to summon in the twins, which are like two eyeballs or something really creepy, honestly. But as long as we as long as we're able to summon all of them in and I feel comfortable defeating them, maybe we'll take them on here pretty soon in the future. Look at that dolphin. It's like beached. <laughs> and then, of course, after that, we'll get the uh, Plantera or something like that. And then after that, we'll finally be able to open up a dungeon crate. So that'd be really good, you guys. Oh, yeah, we still have Pearlwood crates. I never even open those up. Sheesh. What are we going right there? Uh, lesser Mana Potions, 45 Silver. Under Potion, Iron Bars. Copper, ore, and... Oh, yeah, let's just wait until they go away. That way we can see. Apprentice Bait and 44 Silver. Tin Bar, two of those. Palladium Ore. Uh, what was that again? Oh, yeah, that was... Yeah, that was the Cobalt equivalent. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And then Mining Potion. Nothing too crazy, honestly. Like, could have been better, but, like... I guess I can't complain. Like, as long... If we get a Mithril Crate or whatever, which I guess is basically the hard mode version of a gold crate. Because, remember, we got a gold... Uh, did we get a gold crate? I know we got at least a silver or an iron crate or something like that at least once, right? Oh, yeah, look at this. We have a lot of butterflies around here. We definitely want to go catch those. Just if I'm going to go fishing a little bit more off camera, which I definitely want to do. Uh, no more around here. But yeah, we... Oh, yeah, and then we have that one bait that is of the master variety. So we could use that, right? Yeah, there it is right there. Three of those 50% bait powder. So, or power. So we could use that and hopefully get even more uh, crates. So, you know what? I think I'm going to pause again, do some more hard mode fishing... And hopefully we'll find even more crates and be able to get even more awesome loot. Maybe get some uh, mithril, mithril ores or whatever else. Oh, yeah, I need to go empty out my inventory. That's, that's good. definitely something I should do. And that's empty right there, so that's good. And boom, look at how easy this is to empty, you guys. Nice. Yeah, we have palladium ore right here, so go put that up. Apprentice bait and that's some more bait right there. So, yeah, that's fine to keep right there in my inventory. All right, well, let me just go over to the ocean biome. Go, go fishing some more and... uh I think we have all of our NPCs right now, so I don't have to worry about that. And man, it is nice. And oh yeah, I didn't even think I mentioned this just yet, but yeah, look at this. There's a nice jump right here. So if there are any NPCs that want to kill me, then I am completely, like, really far away from them. They can't even attack me. Like, I'm all the way over here. You have to jump. So they can't even go over here and attack me. And uh, they'll, they'll most likely go onto this little platform down here and then get killed by an imp, which is really, really good. I love this setup I have right now. So let me just do... Oh, did I put anything here? Oh yeah, I have some worms and stuff I put inside there. So yeah. Let me just do some more fishing. And of course, because these are platforms, you can fish through them, which is really nice. I love that. But let me just do some more fishing right now, you guys. Hopefully get some more crates. Nah, I got a trout. But try and get some more crates, get some more loot. And you know what? I don't know what we should do next. I don't know if I'm ready for any of those mechanical bosses. Like, we have better armor now compared to when we took that one mechanical worm on. The Destroyer, I think his name was. Uh, when he randomly spawned in. I, I guess we're a little bit more prepared nowadays. I just don't know how to take him on specifically. And we're all out of B-nades, so... I use that all uh, for for the 
Flying Dutchman, I guess I think that guy was called. So yeah, that sucks. I Oh, I guess we can go explore and see what that one structure in the bee biome is. Because that's gotta be something. That's probably like a bee uh, dungeon or something like that, to be quite honest. It kind of reminds me of the green dungeon blocks. We weren't able to break those. We aren't able to break those uh, those blocks in the in the bee biome. So hey, it's probably the same thing, right? Yeah, Behemoths didn't have any uh, tra uh, crazy trades, so I'm not too crazy about that. Look at the, <laughs> look at the heckin' dolphin right there. It just beached itself as it swims and flips and stuff all over the place. But yeah, let me continue fishing over here. Have some nice, calming, relaxing fishing. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit where hopefully we have some more crates to open and hopefully some more juicy loot. Oh man, looks like a red beard just killed some sort of bird. What do you do that for? <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. I'll see you guys here in just a bit though. Wish me luck. All right, guys, I'm back. And a, a traveling merchant came over here, and he's selling something called a Gat Gatligator that has 22 range damage, insanely fast speed. I don't know if we've ever seen anything with insanely, like, mod as a modifier, but it also has extremely weak knockback, so it probably does, like, basically no knockback. <laughs> I wonder if you could have ne negative knockback. You hit something and it, like, moves towards you. <laughs> That'd be pretty crazy. 50% chance to not consume ammo, though, and then also highly inaccurate. 35 gold! seems really honestly these days like bat like maybe 10 20 30 episodes ago 35 gold yeah that's <laughs> that's more gold than we even had like in uh, in total but now we've got a platinum and 58 gold i i, I think i'm going to do it I've, I've never seen this before it might be a hard mode exclusive traveling merchant sort of thing and then we have the revolver there for a fast speed uh we i don't know maybe i'll buy both of them i i i, I think i'm going to definitely get the gatligator but i don't know about the revolver though is it a it's not a material, neither of these are, so it's not like I'd use these to craft something else out of them. Or at least it doesn't show me here, maybe it will if it's in my actual inventory. And also, because I was fishing, I got five pearlwood crates and one more mithril crate, so I suppose we'll open that up here in just a moment as well. But let's definitely buy that, boom. There you go, and we can test it out. We don't have any ammo on us right now, I don't think, so we need to go home and get the meteor shots or, you know, just regular bullets, I suppose. I don't know if I'll get the revolver for 10 gold, though. We have a platinum in 23. I'm like, I guess we could. Fast speed. Weak knockback. 90% critical strike instead of a 4 here. And then it does one less range damage. So fast speed compared to insanely fast speed, but I assume this is a lot more accurate. <laughs> okay, let's get the revolver. I don't know if we already have a revolver, uh, like at home, like in storage or what. But uh, I'm like, I tried to empty that out as much as I could anyways, but let's go back home real quick. Grab ourselves some ammo. And I suppose we could test this thing out. Maybe it's going to be the new uh, mini shark or whatever. Oh yeah, by the way. Um... Where is that? Where did I put it? Or it, what? What? It, it, I don't think it was Mini Shark, was it? Uh, I think it was called something else. Yeah, it was called Mini Shark. There it is right there, Agile Mint. Let's go talk to uh, Asher about it, or whatever his name is nowadays. Where is he? It's not over there, is he? Uh, yeah, there he is right there. Uh, I, we do know we can actually craft something out of this thing. I forgot what it was, though. I think it even included, like, the illegal weapon parts or whatever it was called. You can buy from, uh, whatever his name was. Yeah, Mega Shark. Yeah, there it is right there. Illegal gun parts. You need that, uh, at night. Shark Vin, five of those. Soul of Might. Essence of the Destroyer. That's gotta be from killing the, uh, the mechanical worm. We need 20 of those. I don't know how many he drops. So, I don't know if I need to kill this thing multiple times and stuff, and then we can make the Mega Shark out of that insanely fast speed. Similar to the thing we just got. Insanely fast speed, extremely weak knockback, 50% chance to not consume ammo, but this one has, it does 27 range damage instead of, uh, 22 or whatever. Yeah, 22. And then this one's also highly inaccurate, so, I don't know, maybe this thing, oh yeah, and then there's also the Star Cannon that does 59 range damage, sheesh. How do you make that again? You need, uh, oh wait, what in the world? I could do that, like, right now if I wanted to. What? Uh, do we want to do that? 20 Meteorite Mars, 59 range damage, very fast speed. Why have I not done this? Oh, yeah, it was because uh, Fallen Stars are ammo, and yeah, I, I, I think that was something I was like, yeah, I, I, I don't have, like, thousands of Fallen Stars or anything like that, right? So it's not like I could use a lot of those for ammo or what, so. But the, let's get the Gatligator. Oh, yeah, let's get some ammo, too, because we, <laughs> we need something to shoot out of it, right? Let's see. What do we have here? Do we have regular, uh, we, yeah, we have Musket Balls that do 7 damage. Meteor, meteor Shot that does 9. Then we have a uh, Silver Bullets that do also 9. I suppose we could do the meteor shot just because we have like a bunch of them. <laughs> so there you go. Let's see. Whoa. Yeah, you can see how fast. They oh, and then they even fall down too. Hmm. <laughs> they ricochet a little bit. That might just be because it's a meteor thing. Boom. And you can see how inaccurate it is. I'm going to aim at that. You know, I'm going to aim at that middle torch. I think this would be good against like a boss because of how big a boss would be, right? And how big of a hitbox it would have compared to like, you know, it's an enemy that's like the size of me, right? 
maybe we'll save it for like a boss battle. Just like in the, have it in the background in case we ever want to use it, you know? Let's try out the revolver next. And I don't know if we already have a revolver over here. I feel like we might have. I don't think so. I'm looking at the, uh, the icons here. I don't see what looks like that revolver up there in our hot bar. So, yeah, let's see. What about this? Let's go up there. Let's shoot at that same torch. Okay, so it's not an auto, you know, an auto. You just hold down the button and it constantly shoots. So, we, wait, what? Shipped it. Well, he's a traveling merchant. <laughs> I was about to say, what happened? How did someone die? But yeah, I guess a travel. It's like the first time that's ever happened. What happened over here? Shipped in the traveling. Did. <laughs> Wait, what peddler's hat? Did Callista get in a fight with the traveling merchant and kill him? Because she's almost dead. What happened? Peddler's hat. I could wear his hat now. Hey, you know what? That's actually kind of stylish. I like that. I wonder what happened there. Why did he die? Was it, were they both getting attacked by some sort of enemy? But we're in a relatively safe area here. I'm like, all we have are just scorpions, right? Boom. Slice and dice them up. And I don't think, like, anything's actually spawned over here in the, like, temple pyramid thing. Like, at all. So I don't know what could have possibly been killing them, but whatever. Either way, let's just go back home. And I suppose uh, we could open up those boxes real quick as I uh, put up a bunch of... Here we go. But yeah, tuna, red snack. And I need to actually put those over here so they'll quick stack. So there you go, get the flesh catcher. I don't know about the revolt. I'll put that up for right now, though. And I'll decide if I want to keep that a little bit later. But uh, let's see what's inside. And then, yeah, we have trout, too. Let's put that up. Boom. Let's see what's inside of these boxes, though, real quick. So let's see. Pearlwood crate. Let's right click that. You know, let's go over here so we can actually see the, the words above my head whenever I do it. Let's see. Uh, lucky tsunami in a bottle. We got another one of those as well as a uh, lead ore. Seven of those. Three gold. Just straight up nice. I'll take that. Superior Anchor, what? Whoa, 72 melee damage, very fast speed, 12% critical strike chance, average knockback, 11% damage, it's, it's got a superior thing, so 11% damage, 3% critical strike chance, and then 10% knockback, whoa. Now that is, uh, 66, very fast speed, very fast speed for 72. Whoa, wait, what? What? <laughs> what? Wait, hold on, what? Is this thing, uh, kind of like this? No, I can't spin it around like that. It just automatically shoots out like that. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Huh. Let's kill, let's kill a squirrel. 146, 79 damage right there. Holy heck. Man. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, I do need to do this uh, turning a crystal thing now that we're in hard mode. I got comments reminding me about it. I think I even mentioned it myself as well. Yeah, we definitely need to do that here in a future episode. There's so many hard mode things to do. Yeah, it's crazy. This is slime. 140 damage. Sheesh. I don't know about this anchor, though. Like, if I'd actually use it, it, it doesn't have, like, you know, auto swing or whatever else, like, a cut, like the sharp cutlass has. It's very comparable to this right here, to those 83 melee damage, and at least with this, I can spin it around as well. Just don't have the same range. Yeah, it's got, like, two-thirds the range, if I had to guess. So, I don't know. It seems like a good meme weapon there, though. What, what else are we going to get from the pearl? Yeah, I was from a pearl wood crate, too. What else are we going to get? Uh, palladium or 18 of those and lesser mana potions or something else. Hunter potion, lesser healing potion, apprentice bait, two of those. And what's inside the mithril crate? Some two baits of the master variety and some copper bars. Okay, not bad. But then again, the loot, the, especially hard mode. You'd think the hard mode loot would be even better, but pff, like it's not really impressed me so far, to be quite honest. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being like ungrateful or anything like that. I'd be like, yeah, I need to have like the best loot in the universe or anything like that. But like, you think we'd get something a little bit better than that, right? Sheesh. 